All right, what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since we've done a video here at the desk, so it's gonna be a little something different today, but it should be good. First of all, if you're new around here, my name is Alex. On this channel, we talk about Miatas and whatever other car projects we have going on at the house. So if you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into the topic of today's video. Today, I wanted to talk about something that I have been meaning to get to for a while now, ever since I made the Miata Buyer's Guide video. And this is going to be a deep dive into all of the special edition Miatas. There's quite a few of them and many of them are rare and will bring a higher price tag and they're just pretty cool cars that Mazda made. So we're going to take a look at that today. And this could be a good video for those of you that are looking for a Miata but you want something a little bit more special and maybe you have a larger budget to spend. One of these special editions might be the car for you. I'm going to be referencing a Jalopnik article for a lot of this video. I'll have that linked down below that you can check back as well as this video if you ever want to check back on some of these. It's a very good guide that pretty much covers all of the special editions. We're going to go in chronological order starting from 1991 up until current times. So first up in 1991, this is what's called the BRG. This is the British Racing Green Miata. It had some of the interior features that you'll come to see later in the M edition. This is the wood grain, nardi shift knob, and e-brake. It also had tan leather interior as well as stainless door sill plates. There were 3,997 of them made and they were, all came in that British racing green color. It's important to note they did come with a black soft top still and the hard top was an option. And as it is a 91, it was a 1.6 liter. This was basically a fully loaded Miata as it came with AC, a CD stereo, cruise control, and the headrest speakers. The next year in 1992, this was one of the rarest Miatas. This is the Sunburst Yellow. There are only 1,519 of these built in the Sunburst Yellow color, and that is pretty much the only thing special about it, but it is very rare, and the yellow looks awesome on a Miata. I think it's one of the best colors on a Miata. These were just basic Miatas. It's a 1.6 A package, so you're not gonna find power mirrors or power windows but it is a very rare car and it looks very good. You can probably expect a clean one of these to go in the six to $7,000 range nowadays. Also in 92, you have what's known as the black and tan. There were 4,625 of these made in brilliant black exterior paint with tan leather interior. You're also gonna find the Nardi knobs on this one as well as a lot of them are C package as well. You're also gonna get the desirable lightweight 14 inch bbs basket style wheels up next in 93 you have one of my favorites this is gonna be the 93 le they came in brilliant black exterior paint with a brilliant red leather interior so the dash the seats it is all red in the interior it was a very very cool look you also get the 14 inch bbs wheels you get the headrest speakers sport suspension you're going to see the R package rear spoiler in the R package lips on the front and rear bumpers. This is also a very rare Miata with only 1,505 being made. In 1994, you have the start of the M editions. And with most of the M editions, there is a certain paint color that corresponds to the year, except for this first year. And this is one of the best colors in my opinion as well. There were 3,000 of these made in 94 and they are Montego Blue Mica. This is the only color that you can get in other years other than 1994. M editions are probably some of the nicest special edition Miatas you can get. If you find one for a good deal, I highly recommend picking it up. You're going to get the best of the best. You're getting the Torsen limited slip differential. You're getting the tan leather interior fully loaded. Nardi shift knobs, power everything, mirrors, windows. You're getting the... M edition stainless steel sill plates and M edition badging on the exterior. And these are all gonna be 1.8 Miatas. Also in 94 and 95, a very rare car, another amazing color combination. This is the Laguna Blue. This color might look familiar to some of those that have watched the channel before as it is the color that we painted Eric's EK hatch. So these are Laguna Blue Mica exterior with tan leather interior. Like I said, awesome color combination. Very rare, only 341 in 1994 and 122 in 1995. Up next in 95, another great color. These M edition colors are all honestly very nice. This is the Merlot Mica. There were 3,500 of them made 
you're getting all the same stuff as the other M editions. You're getting the Torsen. This one had 15 inch BBS wheels. One thing to note about this is the seats. These are pretty special seats as they had adjustable headrests. These are pretty rare seats. Cor correct me if I'm wrong, but I wanna say I've seen a, a nice set of these seats going for almost $1,000. In 1996, they made 3000 Starlight Blue Mica M editions. These cars actually had an alarm system on them and they also came with 15 inch N key wheels instead of the BBSs. And it's noted here that these are actually some of the heaviest wheels ever put on a Miata from the factory. And finally in 97, the last M edition, another great color, 3000 Marina Green Miatas were made in 1997. This is kind of similar to the British Racing Green, but it's a little bit darker I think and it has a nice metallic in it. Here you're gonna find those polished six spoke and key wheels as well as all the other premium features you come accustomed to on the M editions. Also in 97 we have kind of a weirder one there was 1500 of these STOs made the special touring option and it says here that it's kind of like a piece together appearance package. It's twilight blue mica you're getting the tan leather a spoiler but the bad thing is the premium features that you'd most likely want were not available like the hard top the torsen diff cruise control and the premium stereo this is also one that you're probably not too likely to come across in your searches now backtracking a little bit also available in 94 through 97 is the r package miata this is kind of a miata geared towards like racing enthusiasts and autocross it's a stripped down miata Power steering was not available, no leather interior, optional air conditioning, no automatic transmission available. You're gonna get sport suspension with the Bilstein shocks, stiffer sway bars. They also had slightly different design tie rod ends. A lot of people like to take these R package tie rod ends and put them on their normal Miatas. It's supposed to reduce a bump steer. They came in a bunch of different colors, including that Laguna Blue Mica that we talked about earlier. Production numbers for all the years are 1,218 in 94, 465 in 95, 111 in 96, and 47 in 1997. So things to look for on these are those R package front and rear lips as well as spoiler. Look for a Miata that does not have power steering, it possibly doesn't have AC, and it has the sport suspension and a Torsen rear end. In 1999, the second gen Miata, also known as the NB, had what's known as the 10AE, the 10th Anniversary Edition Miata. They all came in sapphire blue mica. There were 3,000 of these cars made. They all came with a six-speed manual. It had the Torsen LSD, polished wheels. It also had some of these special blue interior pieces. These are where you're gonna find the NB seats with the blue center section. It also had a blue top. There was also a special edition for the year 2000. This is the Mahogany Mica. Kind of similar to that Merlot Mica from earlier years, but you're also going to get a very nice looking extra light tan interior. This is lighter than all of the other tan interiors on Miatas. It's a six speed and you're going to find a Nardi steering wheel, shift knob and handbrake in the interior. So you'll see with a lot of these special edition Miatas, Mazda like to give you a lot of premium features in the interior. In 2001, they brought back that British racing green exterior. You're going to find the usuals, the tan leather interior with nardi bits, and they made 3,000 of these Miatas. Now these next couple, I don't think I've ever personally seen, but in 2002, there was a couple of special editions. The first pair, a couple of special paint colors, 1,491 titanium gray and 1,000 in blazing yellow. They each had their own interior color, so that is going to be dark brown for the titanium gray and black. For the blazing yellow. You're gonna get white gauge faces instead of black, a Nardi steering wheel, and the Torsen LSD. In 2003, you had three different special edition NB Miatas. The first one is a Strato Blue Mica. 1,549 of these with a gray leather interior. The next is going to be the Shinsen edition. There was 1,451 of these. Gray exterior, blue cloth interior, blue top. People like these seats a lot. I want to say they're the same as the 10AE, correct me if I'm wrong. And then finally, the 03 Club Sport. This one's pretty interesting, only 50 of these. 
no options intended for scca racing 25 with the soft top 25 came with the hard top no soft top they had no options no ac no power steering no radio and they came in either white or classic red no four and no five we have a good one this is one that a lot of people are probably familiar with this is the Mazda Speed Miata. 4,000 made in 2004 and 1,428 in 2005. These Miatas came turbocharged from the factory. Colors are Velocity Red, Titanium Gray, Black Mica, and Lava Orange. The turbocharged Miata made 178 horsepower. It came with a six-speed manual. It came with 17-inch wheels. The Mazda Speeds all had special appearance package so the bumpers on this are going to be different and sport suspension with bilstein shocks now this last one i'm going to touch on is an nc there were actually a few other special edition ncs made that i'm not going to touch on in this video i just don't want it to get too long but if you're interested in those reference that jalopnik article down below for more information on those but this last one in 2015 this is gonna be the 25th anniversary of the miata and they made 100 Soul Red NC Miatas in 2015. This is the first time ever that we see Soul Red on a Miata. I know that some of the NDs come in this color. If you've never seen it in person, it is very nice. It is a striking red. It uses a tinted clear coat to get this effect and it just looks very nice. We've actually repaired a Soul Red ND at my shop before as well as a couple of other Mazdas in Soul Red. And like I said, the clear coat is actually tinted with a little bit of red in the clear, and it just gives it that awesome red glow. So that is gonna do it for my coverage of the special edition Miatas. Hopefully this helped, hopefully this was interesting and you could learn something new. If you are in the market for a Miata or a special edition Miata like these shown here, just keep in mind, the rarity of a lot of these cars in most cases they're going to be in very good shape they're going to be well taken care of they are very desirable rare so that is going to increase the price people most likely if they know what they've got are probably not going to be very flexible on their price when selling these so take that with a grain of salt a lot of the na special editions that we mentioned in this video if they're in decent shape, they're probably going anywhere in the $5,000 range and maybe up to as high as eight, just depending on what it is exactly. But lots of very cool stuff in here. I think the ones you're probably gonna run into the most are the M editions. These are pretty common to find. They're not too hard to find. You come across them a good bit. The R package, the Mazda Speed NB, and probably, at least in my experience, the BRG. I've seen quite a few BRGs, but that is gonna do it for today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. More updates to come on the $1,000 NB Miata project next week. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw, but other than that, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one.